Hi everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is a rather special one because today is our very first NG Models aircraft review. Now before I start, I just want to say thank you all so much for 100 subscribers. I've not mentioned it in a video yet, um, so I do apologize about that, but I really, really appreciate helping me reach 100 subscribers. The next goal is 200, so if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and please like and comment as well it really like, encourages me to keep going but this is the ng models 1 to 400 scale british airways boeing 757 200 in the pause to remember livery now this actually isn't my very first ng models i've had um in my old collection back on my old channel alex aviation Paul 20 my very first ng models was actually an easyjet 757 200 and a virgin australia a330 200 but i've sold them too so this is my first NG Models aircraft um, for my new collection. But um, without me rambling on for another 12 minutes, let's just get into the box review first. And before we actually go further into this box, I just wanna say I love how much time and effort NG Models puts into each and every box. The Gemini jets, they're just all like the blue, white, silver, or like, I don't know what other colors they do for different airlines, but they just do the exact same design over and over again, and it just gets super boring. It's like the NG Models boxes, they're just all completely different, all shapes, like all sizes, different sizes. Every single box is different, and that's what I love about NG Models. And even Phoenix does that as well. Um, and this model being my first NG Models for, all, uh, for this new collection, I'm really happy to have this as my first NG Models for my new collection as it's very, very special to me, but I won't go into detail about that because for privacy reasons. But um, let's just get into the box review. Starting off, we have like a lot of colors. You can see the, the different shades of red being used, the CGI of the aircraft, and just like the blue and the white, and just, it just, it's just so much detail. But starting off, we have Boeing 757-200, the Royal British Legion. We have like the poppy in, uh, at, towards the left, but always in the middle. Uh, we have the blue line going across, then we have the CGI of the aircraft looking great, pause to remember, and then we have like the British check, I, if you guys know what that is called, please let me know, and it says British Airways, the registration is Golf Bravo Papa Echo Kilo, we've got the NG models logo down here, next generation model, 1-400 scale collectible models, die cast metal, and then here we have a little Boeing like an officially licensed product as you can see there moving on to the side you can see the box has almost got like a metallic looking finish to it which is pretty cool now 757-200 um, the NG models logo the CGI of the aircraft and the registration here we have again Boeing 757-200 next generation models the blue logo this time everything's in blue British Airways here it's just the same as this side, and then again it's just the exact same um, as the other side went over. And here is the back of the box. It's pretty much nearly the same as the front, except we've got their social medias. See www.ngmodels.com, Boeing officially licensed product. Warning, don't give this to like people or children under 14 years. And then we have the item number, which is 53158. There's the little barcode. And again, we just got the nice contrast of colors, which just looks incredible. But anyway, let's just get into the actual model itself. And here we have the model up close. Um, I just want to say before we go over this fully, I just, NG models have really put in the effort into this model. I mean, it is just incredible. With Gemini jets, there's, there's always something off about them. Um, it's like I got my British Airways 777-200ER and the, the landing gear is too tall. Um, my British Airways E170, that one came with a wheel missing and then one of the stabilizers came off. Um, my KLM 777 that I actually have from my old collection, the wheel came off there. Um, the A, my Green Expo A380, which was my very first model ever, that the gears came off of that. And it's just like, Gemini Jets, the, their quality control is just atrocious. Um, now, I do have a few unboxing videos coming up, 
and um, you'll just see what I'm talking about. Starting out, we have the cockpit windows, we have the nose cone detail, we have like the white and the blue separated. We have, I can't, I think one of the words says dockyard, but I can't actually read it, it's quite small. Um, we have the, again, this like, this check, I don't know what it is though. We have the L1 door, we've got the nose gear with uh, the nose gear doors. The detail is amazing and the, the landing gears do roll as well. We then have the British Airways titles in the same blue as the underbelly. Oh, we do, yeah, we do have some potato tubes as well. Um, we have another door here. Got this beautiful poppy. Then we got the landing lights here. Now, something I did really stupid is there is meant to be an antenna here, as you can see, but I took it off. Um, because what I like to do is I like to dab a bit of glue on the bottom of them and just glue them in. I did it for these two and it came out flawlessly, but I lost this one. I'm really upset, but it's not uh, NG model's fault, so don't worry about that. As you can see, we have the red antennas as well. That's just this amazing attention to detail. Like I said before, we had the landing lights, the Royal British Legion. I think there's a little mark on the Y there, which is kind of annoying, but with the Rolls Royce logo on the engines. Um... But now the wings, you can see the walkway area on the wings, which is outlined. You can see some extra details at the flaps and the spoilers marked out there. The fuel dumping system, which isn't marked, which is kind of annoying, unlike my uh, Singapore Airlines A380 from Phoenix. We have the main gears, which obviously roll. We then have an emergency exit with the United Kingdom tiles. Now, the old British Airways aircraft had the United Kingdom on here. I'm almost thinking about getting a British Airways A319 for my upcoming Edinburgh updates in the future, but it's got the United Kingdom tiles, and obviously that's not, uh, that's not valid on BA aircraft anymore. But I might just still go for it. We have the Royal Mail logo, and then with the registration, which is Golf Bravo Papa Echo Kilo. Got another door here, and then you can see the British Airways tail. Now, the colours are a little bit bright. Uh, that's the only thing I'm going to say about this model. Um, I forgot to say at the start, one thing that NG models are kind of criticised for is getting their colours wrong. Um, the colours are kind of wrong. Well, they're not too wrong, but they, they do look good. But it's just, I think the red is a little bit too bright, but it's not too bad. Um, then we have some, the stabilisers there, the details there, then we've got the APU. And then moving on to the side, or the L side. We have the service and cargo doors here, which both look incredible. Um, something else as well, NG models do not put their logo underneath their models, which is um, a huge plus. A Phoenix, well no, Phoenix do that. Panda models and NG don't do that. So it's like, if they do that, why can't NG, well no, why can't Gemini Jets and Phoenix do that? But you know, that's whatever. And you can see the inside of the engines there, which is just incredible. And that is it for today's video. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I know I did, this was quite a long review and I did kind of beef Gemini Jets a little bit, but I just wanted to express my opinion um, just to get the message across that Gemini Jets' quality control is absolutely horrendous, as you'll see in my upcoming unboxing videos. Um, I will have my first AirPod update out maybe at the end of March or late, or early April um, because at the time I'm recording this I'm about to get a big batch of models from AMS or the aircraft model store well not a big batch there's four models but it'll be my largest unboxing so I cannot wait for that um, but yeah thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time